Mona in a Mesh, written and illustrated by Roselle. Gigi received a birthday present from her mom and dad. It was the best birthday gift she ever had. Monarch Butterfly's Chrysalis, Gigi loudly read. Hmm, I will call you Mona, she proudly said. After waiting for a few days, could this be the day? I wonder if Mona will come out to play. The hanging chrysalis cracked and the light seeped through. Mona woke up, but didn't know what to do. Gigi peeked in the butterfly's mesh net. Where could she be? Has her chrysalis opened yet? Let me see. The butterfly peeped into the crack to see the view. Two pairs of eyes were looking at her, too. Gigi opened the mesh net and lifted the stick. The twig slipped. It was too slick. Her fast movements gave the chrysalis a flick, swoosh, up, up, up into the air. The chrysalis flew. Mona felt her lift off when the wind blew. Oh no, I still can't fly, my wings have goo. Mona got scared. Ah! Gigi got scared too. Thump! Gigi checked the mesh net after Mona dropped. She was worried. Had the chrysalis popped? I'm so sorry, Mona. I'm very clumsy, Gigi said. She cried when she saw the chrysalis cracks and the butterfly's head. Mona crawled out of the chrysalis in one spurt. Squirt, splash, blob. Mona landed in the dirt. Mona spread her wings like a skirt. Thank goodness for this goo. I am not hurt. Gigi saw how Mona unrolled her wings with grace. She wiped her tears and put a smile on her face. Mona, I am glad you're okay. Please come out of your mesh net. Let's play. Mona stretched her wings towards the sky. I will need some time before I can fly. My wings are wet and need to dry. Mona went into her resting state. So Gigi sat on the chair to watch and wait. Gigi got tired of waiting and took a nap. When Mona's wings got dry, she started to flap. The butterfly flew out of the mesh net in a snap. Mona flew up and down, around and around. To her surprise, there were no plants to be found. She only saw tall buildings and pavement on the ground. She sat by the window and sadly frowned. No flowers, no trees. There's no food for me. This window has a glass. I am not free. Gigi woke up and saw Mona had got out. But the butterfly flew, and back to the mesh net was her route. Gigi felt Mona's sadness without a doubt. She sat in front of the mesh net with a pout. Gigi told her mom and dad, I can feel that Mona is sad. I want my butterfly friend to be happy. I have a great idea. Please help me. The sad butterfly didn't eat and just went to sleep. 
she dreamed of a flower-filled meadow with lots of nectar for her to keep. Until Mona woke up with the sound of the jeep. Gigi opened the mesh net for Mona's big surprise. The butterfly looked up and saw the clear blue skies. Mona flew out of the mesh net and gave Gigi a kiss between her eyes. Gigi waved to Mona and said her wishful goodbyes. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.